right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna suck out. I wanna, I'm gonna put a, a cap on these, these black valves. So what's happening is, you know, when I got my roof redone, they must have messed up this gasket here. But anyways, I got a leak out of this, uh, this hose here. So I'm gonna cut, put a, uh, a vent cover on it. And so if you look down in here, let's see if the camera will pick it up, but it's actually, there's some stuff in there. So let me see if I can put a light in there and you can see some of it. Excuse the dog barking, but that's all right. Back up. And so here's how we're gonna do it. Before we actually put the, the vent cover on, and I'll show you which one we're gonna do. Before we do that, I'm gonna suck it out with this vac. I'm just gonna, I want to break up what's down there because uh, when I did the shot back it didn't quite suck up a bunch of stuff like I thought it would. There you go. Bunch of sand and mud. I get too close. So let's see if we can get it out now. By the way, to get your shot back to reach, let me show you some Mexican ingenuity. Throw it on a trash can. clear but it also curves right so what I'm doing is just pouring a little bit of water actually quite a bit of water down there to make sure it's clearing and I can hear it going down into the, uh, the black tank or the gray tank so um, that's good to go so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side on this one I have a helper so go ahead Nash you see anything down there no it's just clear nothing down there all the way down that one's probably straight down, so let's pour a little bit of water in there, see what happens. Okay. Make sure you go straight into the hole. Okay. A little bit down here, going into the tank. Yep. Going in the black tank. Look good? Mm -hmm. Alright, good job. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start to remove See, there's some old uh, silicone around here. In actuality, I think I could just, if I just uh, put new silicone here, I think that would, I could just call it a day. But I'm gonna put a, I'm actually gonna put this, this Camco, I think it's called a hurricane or a typhoon, uh, deal so let's do that so I'm just gonna remove all this silicone now and I'm gonna silicone that or actually I'm gonna put some new sealant around that so let me get that done and I'll be back okay now you can see it pulled out basically all that silicone you can see if you don't have this um, sealed there's definitely gonna be water penetration uh, going through the middle there So we're gonna go ahead and cover that up and then you're supposed to drill these holes and put on your Put on your little shark fin here Sorry for the lack of video quality here, but I'm shooting this on my own So I'll do that next So this is Dicor self-leveling lap sealant. I'm not too worried about getting it perfect. Sorry for my forearm in the way there. But just coat it. Because one, it's gonna self-level. 
okay and then two um, it's gonna be covered here and you'll see that in a second so I'm just gonna put this on there and let it do its thing On this side, what you're going to see is I actually did, I put some putty, some plumber, or some of that putty on here, and I'm thinking, I should clean that off. Yeah, that was a good idea. And I'm not so concerned with what's on top here, because I'm really sealing around here. So what I'm going to do is, let's take some, uh, take some mineral spirits or acetone or whatever you have. Clean it up. Okay, so I'm going to take this and clean it up real good. So that your die core, your self sealant there has something to bond to real good, real clean surface. Okay, not sure how perfect it has to be, but I'm gonna get it as perfect as I can. Okay, again, I'm not so worried about this top part because um, I'm sealing underneath. That's the most important part. So. And that, this part's going to be covered anyways. So, let's see here. Give it a few more seconds to dry. That's pretty clean. Okay. Again, apologize for the... My main goal here, guys, is just to show you how it works. Give you the idea. You'll get the idea here. So, I'm going to hit it again with my die core. So hopefully, you guys appreciate that. Okay, so I had some from the last run I did, and I'm just gonna get it under there. Now, before you guys that are really good at this stuff start critiquing me. About how bad I am, I know I am. Uh, at I hate this. <laughs> I hate uh, putting caulking on stuff because it it always I'm not very good at it. But I think it will be good enough for sure. Okay, that's it. It's gonna stop the leak, I know that much. May not be pretty, but it ain't gonna leak. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like. And a couple things I wanna point out real fast. So these screws, to screw it in, you know, I'm not sure if three quarters is right. Definitely eight is, but the most important thing here is make sure you get stainless steel. I think that's the most important part there. And then when it comes to this, um, I'm actually gonna put some putty underneath. Now I learned this when I was redoing these windows here, my, my little, uh, I don't know, people call them submarine windows or, um, starlight windows but um, I'm gonna put around the bottom of this I'm gonna put some of this putty um, to create another seal so I'm just gonna make it like extra safe and what I would recommend this here it's like 43 cents per foot I think it is so go get yourself you know I just keep this in my fridge and if I ever need it 
which I, I haven't really used a lot of it but I just bought a bunch it's coming in handy for things like this and uh, I'm gonna put it around the bottom of that then I'm gonna screw it all in and then I'm gonna put Dicor on top of that so maybe overkill but definitely won't leak so just some things to think about so I thought I'd show you how this putty stuff works comes in these rolls you just take it off from here by the way you keep this in your fridge that's where you want to keep it keep it nice and cold keeps it malleable and I'm just gonna put it on the bottom here just like that you guys will see how this will work here in just a second but Put it there. Don't worry about it being perfect. It just needs to create the seal once you push it down. So, and you can trim away the excess. It's kind of like playing with Play Doh, like back in the day. Cut it just a tad short, but again, this is just like extra precaution, so I'm not too worried about it being 100% perfect. Okay, now what I can do is gonna put this down. Oops. Press it up a little bit and you can see it coming out there so that's gonna hold it down for me and now I can take my screws some people put die core on their screws I don't think it's a bad idea whoops uh, the other suggestion I think is to hand tighten these I don't think you want to go too crazy So I'm just going to continue to do that. Hopefully you can see this okay. I'm doing this blind, like I said. Nobody to film me today. I actually made a mistake because I put I put this first screw in and that is actually in a spot where this guy goes so I made a mistake oh well you make mistakes it happens can't be scared of it. Okay, I'll hand tighten that here in a second. Let me take this one out because it's not a big deal. And remember, I'm going to die core that again, so I'm not that worried about it. You know, I want to talk a little bit about making, well, I should do this on a separate video, but people that are afraid to make mistakes with this like you can correct it you know what's the worst that's going to happen people are afraid to put holes in their fiberglass like it's okay I'll just uh, put some dicor on it and fill that thing now, I don't recommend you go you're reckless but don't be afraid to do things that are necessary for your rig because you're scared. All right. So you'll see. 
through here now. So, sorry, not a pro here, and, you know, I'm a professional sales guy. I don't do this for a living, and all I'm saying is that, you know, maybe it's not like what the guys that charge 150 bucks an hour would do. That's going to do fine. got enough support in there okay so now I'm just gonna peel all this off clean it up a little bit but there's a seal there. This thing ain't going nowhere. It's not coming off. It's definitely not going to leak. It's definitely got enough strength here with all these screws in it. And that's it. So the little leak I had is gone. How awesome is that? Here's the progress on this side. Look, it's starting to smooth out, which is cool. Because remember, I told you I'm not good at that. So one of the things I realized I made a mistake on was you're supposed to, hopefully you guys can see. You're supposed to put this on, put this on, pick this up, and then drill your holes. And me, being that I'm a professional and all, uh, drilled my holes without this on. <laughs> so, I guess I'm gonna have to re-drill those holes or guess. Nah, you want a pilot hole here. So, again, that other hole's covered and then this is gonna also be a uh, die cord. So I guess I shouldn't be too concerned with it. I shouldn't be too concerned with it. So I think that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, so here's the correction video. So you're gonna put that bad boy on, lift this thing up, and you gotta drill, drill three holes into the pipe. It doesn't really matter where they are. It's just to hold this guy in place.
So just wanted to show you the final product. We're done here, and we're done there, and as you can see, with the self-leveling, it actually looks pretty darn good, even for someone who doesn't do a good job cocking stuff.